You know, it, it wasn't a chip. It was some kind of dirt on it. What? It wasn't a chip on the cup. Oh. That's it. Stop. Yes. It's not for you. It's for your brother. You only dip a one. Let's stop it. Well, that's good to know. Jesus. Mr. Gibbs, move out the way. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. Move, bitch. Get out the way. All right. I'll be streaming, puppy, so you just chill out, okay? No, 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 no. Get on. Don't jump on me. Gibbs, I'm not playing with you right now. Now stop it. Get down. Jesus. Jesus, dog. Jesus. Hey, Frosty. Uh, computer's not having good performance lately. So until I get that fixed, I'm mobile streaming. So I think it's time to start this. The Dragon Quest. Dos. Gibbs, could you get down? Come on, man. Just, just fuck off, all right? Come on. Thank you. All right, let's see. Try and get comfortable here. Venture forth. Brave Gonzo Shitcock. Thou art returned to us. I'm so glad I named him Gonzo Shitcock. 
All right, you get more points, stuff will happen, blah, blah, blah. All right. Correct hard drive should be coming in, and there's a button in my way. I hate that the the stop button for um, to stop the stream is in the way of the chat. It's like, come on, I want to read. Coming in, you know, I have to wait till somebody else. How's it going now? How you doing? Uh, so I believe I was saving up for the chain armor. Let me talk to this guy and see what the deal is. I have 108 gold, all right. They have the chain sickles, that's that's all good to go. They have the shield, so it's the chain mail, which is 390 fucking bucks. That's like $17 in real life. Today, oh, okay. Going good, mostly gonna be listening for a few minutes, super crunch, oh, okay. Well, I'm still mobile streaming. Um, I'm probably not gonna be able to get to the mail today. We'll see how it is. It's kind of like insane in town right now with Labor Day, or not Labor Day, Memorial Day weekend. Let me see. All right. Now you can, you can just. But thanks for coming by, Nana. Thanks so much for the hard drive. Oh, and by the way, do you know um, how big that hard drive is? It's not that it matters to me, because it really doesn't. Uh, I just need one that works, but uh, T-Sparkle was asking me about it because he's like an IT guy and he's got to know about everything, so he was asking me about it. Speaking of Sparkle, hey, thank you for the host, good sir. He got to know. Hopefully... Not that big of a deal, though. Hey, Pun Hit Wonder, man, this is so cool. All you guys are here. Um, I'm still, still not confident in using my computer yet, so I'm uh, streaming for mobile. But I got me some Dragon Quest Two here, The Adventures of Prince Gonzo Shitcock and his cousin Appersat. Uh, and there's a third cousin later on, but I don't have her in my party yet. What I get? An, a club? Oh, I can go sell that for money. Let's go do that real quick. Oh, four terabytes? Oh, wow, man, that's cool. That That's totally great. So the one I had was only two, so I was like, damn, I mean, it, it, as long as it's as good as what I had, which it's twice as good. But even if it wasn't, like, because the external that AJ got me is four terabytes, so it, it sounds like I'm going to have plenty of pl space. But that's not even a concern for me, to be honest. My My main concern is just getting everything working again so that I can just go back to my fucking life, you know? So that I can stream normally, do PC games. This kills me because as much as I love Dragon Quest 2 and streaming Dragon Quest 2, it's killing me that today is the day that I would be normally streaming Dragon Quest 11. Gibbs, can you just, like, lay down or something? Thank you, Jesus. Like, come on, man. All right, so we got a rat skull and two mollusks. It's no big deal. You consulted Corin. She's the one to consult. Slow at work today. You started playing some Overwatch, and you ended just for me. Oh my God, Kyle! I heart you. You are amazing. You guys are all amazing. I'm so fucking depressed today. I'll tell you. I'm so glad you guys are here. Oh God, these fucking guys are just attacking. You know what, actually, these guys are not a threat anymore. I don't have to worry about getting poison now that Apersant has the Squelch spell. So we can get these slimy bastards the hell out of here, yeet them into the stratosphere, and give me some motherfucking money. Alright. No. Fight over here. More bobble slimes, and this time I get the free round. Hey, Chris, how's it going, man? Yeah, Corrin's the one to... I am so nervous about having to open up the computer and swap things out and whatnot, but I know it won't be that big of a deal. It's been a long time since I've had to do anything like that. I got a Magus. He's like, talk to the hand. Talk to mine hand. Twist upon these nuts. 
Got him. Okay, Cobra Kings. This is more like what I was looking for. Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai. All right, Gonzo Shipka, kicking some ass. Alerts suck on mobile. Yeah, not much I can do about that. <laughs> but I decided that even after everything... Oh, we got army ants. Okay, I haven't run into these guys yet. Even after I um, get everything fixed and go back to my normal stream schedule, I will occasionally do mobile streams because it is fun. And now that I started this whole plan of doing Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3 on mobile, might as well actually finish it. More Cobra Kings. Like, we are the king of Cobras. Ah, your mother. Mod Squad is here. Do you see my resub? Uh, no, I don't, but I'll take your uh, word for it. I'm actually, because I'm not in the, um, I'm not looking at the app. I'm looking at the game. If I was to look at the, um, the Streamlabs app, I'm sure it would come up. But thank you so much for resubbing. How many months? Is it four or five? Something like that? Well, thank you so much. Gibbs, I'm telling you, man. Either get off the bed or just lay down. Standing next to me like this is really friggin' weird. You're creeping me out. Come on, settle down, buddy. There's a good boy. Oh, mollusks still, really? Oh, this here. What? Moogle? Hey, Moogle. Nah, I didn't show up in chat. Four months, sweet. Yeah, I mean, this area, yeah, okay. Um, seems like I got a failing hard drive. So, now is sending me a new one. I got everything backed up onto an external. Swap it out. Install Windows. I gotta, like, sometime today, probably, make the Windows install CD. I have the Media Creator tool. Oh, Gonzo Shitcock is poisoned. But I gotta, um, actually, like, make the disc and burn it onto, like, a, like a DVD or whatever, so I can use it as an install disc. I do, um, I did extract my, um... My Windows 10 product key. I don't think I'll need it because um, they just like, I think it's stored in the BIOS, but uh, I did extract it. So I do have, I have pictures of it on my phone. Oh, wait, wait, that's a fat rat. It's not a rat skull. That might be a little tougher. All right, so there are tougher enemies over here. That's good because I want to, I want to get this, get this bread, you know? Yeah, I know I, I, I could use a flash drive, but for me, it's just easier to use it. Because we have a flash drive, but um, I know that when you use it, every anything that's on it gets deleted, and it's not mine, so I'd have to borrow it and be like, hey, I need to borrow this flash drive, and by the way, I'm deleting everything on it. It's kind of kind of awkward. So I'll probably just do it to this, because I do have... One thing that I discovered when I was looking to see if I had a Windows 10 install disk was that I do have blank DVDs on those spindles, so there is that. If you tell it I don't have a product key. Oh, okay, that's good. To know. Oh, thank you for the bits, Chris. Is that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 bits? Thank you so much. The fat rack's like, hugs. Yeah, big hogs. How much money do I have? Oh, I have enough money for one one of those armors. Let's go buy one. What do we got? Cobra Kings. I didn't... You know, like, when I bought these games, I bought them all at once. Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 3 for Android. And honestly, I was like, okay, Dragon Quest 1, I can see it as a... What do I get? Oh, an herb? Okay. I can, I can see it as a mobile game, but Dragon Quest 2 is a little more... Oh, we got spirits. Um... I can see it as a mobile game, but Dragon Quest 2, you have, like, you know, three characters instead of one. It's a little more complicated. And then Dragon Quest 3 is this really complex game with, like, a lot of, you know, it's got a job system and everything. How is that going to work on mobile? I wound up playing through all three of them 
Um, not on this phone, but on a tablet that I had. And let me tell you, these games really work on mobile. It's amazing how well they uh, play. Well, I'm, I don't want to do a disc to disc clone because I know there's errors on the disc, so I think that, that things would get corrupted along the way. I think a clean install and then just running Windows Update would probably be fine for me. And it's, and guy, by the way, guys, it's going to take me at least a couple of days to bounce back. Like, even after I get the hard drive in there and Windows installed, there's a lot of software I got to download, drivers to update, games to install. Um, so it, it, it's not going to be like an instant return to PC streaming. But thankfully, I have the rest of this game and Dragon Quest Three to keep me occupied on, on days that I... Oh, what am I doing? I'm supposed to... I'm an idiot. I was supposed to go into the fucking castle and buy the fucking armor, and I need to heal, too, because both of them are looking a little ragged right now. I'm talking too much. Yeah, they were babbles in the original. Now they're bubble slimes. Yeah, Streamlabs is fun, but plus I have all the, um... all the, the, the images that I use for, um... for, like, my scenes are all backed up as well, too. Oh, shit. I don't know if you guys see that, but that's my mom texting me. It looked like chili! Okay, cool. Those are, there's a thing of chili and a thing of tomato sauce in there. Pull out the chili, and I, I pull out one of them, and I'm like, I can't tell if this is chili or tomato sauce. And um, I was like, it looks like it could be either, you know, because it's like frozen. And, uh, oh, what am I doing? I don't need anything from you. It was the inn I wanted. No, no, leave me alone, dude. And I was like, I think I see the beans, and I think this is chili. It turns out it wasn't, but she, she got me. Sort of, none of us, no, none of me feels like cooking today. Oh, yeah, I could totally do Pokemon Showdown on, on mobile, too. Hey, Paul, how's it going, man? I'm doing pretty good. She's been a little depressed lately, cause obviously, but um, she's been doing pretty good the last two days. We're all depressed. We're all a mess. It's just you know, but these streams are what keeps me sane. All right, so I want to buy myself a chainmail. We'll give it to Gonzo Shitcock. Oh, I guess he doesn't have enough room. All right, I'll give it to Ampersat. In I'm surprised he didn't ask me, hey, do you want me to, like, move the stuff into your bag? Um, or, wait, do you not have a bag in this game? Let me see. Oh, you don't, you know, there's no bag in this game. All right. We'll just move stuff over there. All right. All right, so now I'll sell his leather armor. And then it's not that much longer before I would have enough for uh, Gonzo Shitcock. I'll try to talk to you again, dude. Moob! Ball. You have a headache, you have a lot of work to do, and you really don't want to. Oh man, I feel you. I know what that's like. I have a little bit of a headache myself, but that's just... For me, that's normal. I'm always in some kind of fucking pain. Take a little sip of water. It's not my back, it's my head. If it's not my head, it's my leg. It's an old sucks. That beats dying, though. I'll tell you that much. Alright, we got bubble slimes. So the next step we're going to do is, uh, after we get the armor, we're going to go into that cave that you guys saw over to the west, and that's where the silver key is. We're going to get the silver key. Oh, we got rat skulls. How am I still able to upload to YouTube? Um, I actually upload a lot, um, in bulk ahead of time, so that's how. It's true. It's true, Sparkle. But yeah, everything is, um, for this week was already uploaded, and I'll probably, um, tonight start the uploads for the next week. All the stuff is on the external drive. 
Unfortunately, a couple of the files for YouTube videos had errors. There were four files for YouTube videos that had errors. Um, there were two Muram... I'm sorry, there were three of them were from Muramasa, and one of them was from Breath of Fire 11. Now, I was able to save the Breath of Fire. It's like just missing a, a few minutes at the end. And one of the Muramasa ones, which is just missing, like, actually just a few seconds at the end. Now... But two of the Muramasa videos were just, like, completely unsalvageable, which really sucks. But thankfully, they were post-game videos where I was just, like, running around and doing challenges and shit, and they didn't have any, like, story content in them. So, oh, I got poisoned, didn't I? And I didn't mean to actually go in there. Squelch Gonzo Shitcock is a phrase I never thought I'd say. Maybe if I, maybe if I, if I actually go in the cave, though, maybe I'll, uh... You know what, let me just do this now. Oh god, heal slimes, really? These guys are a pain in the ass. Especially when there's more of them than there are of me. Alright, that's one down. They just consistently heal themselves. If we wasn't in pain, how would we know that we're alive? Wow, that's kind of cynical. The emotes are working because every time I bring up the Streamlabs app, it downloads a bunch of emotes. So it should continuously get better. Being all serious at work and paying bills and still snort laughing every time you hear about Gonzo shit. <sighs> oh, can so oh, there, I was going to say, can somebody put the Gibbs emoji? There it is. So the Gibbs emoji is showing up. So that's really good. Like, literally every time I open the um, Streamlabs mobile app, it imports a bunch of Twitch emojis, like thousands of them at a time. And it's just like, I guess previously the ones you guys were using weren't the ones that... Oh, so Gonzo Shitcock... I'm oh, sorry, Prince Gonzo Shitcock has reached level 9. So that's great. And there's a Seed of Agility. Let me go ahead and use that right away. Okay, so inventory is really limited because there's no bag in this. So I gotta be careful about what I keep. More heal slimes. I hate these fucking things. Yeah, heal yourself, you big bitch. So he's come coming to your office and be like, "Why are you laughing?" And you're like, "Oh, well, um, you know, as I'm working, I got this live stream going, and this guy keeps saying, um, Gonzo Shitcock." And they're just going to be like, what the fuck? And then maybe they want to know what my Twitch name is. Who knows? You could be that. Probably not, though. They'll probably just be like, oh, she's weird. Do we have bagels? We have bagels! You get you went to this cave before you got the prince? That doesn't seem smart. The game outright tells you not to do that, too. How much do I have? Three or five. Like, I think I might as well do this now. I don't want to get too leveled up before I get the princess in my party. That's the thing. All right, we got a fat... Oh, they're just they're just, they're just going for it. A fat rat and two um, bubble slimes. Let's kill those bubble slimes first. Ooh, that critical hit. That crit, though. And yeah, if I want to break it up and not do Dragon Quest every single day, I can totally do um, Pokemon Showdown for mobile because I do have an app for it. It's a pretty good app, too. Tombola Ticket. I can't get to the Tombola game until I get the Silver Key, though. So, ooh, a Somnolant. Hopefully it doesn't put me to sleep. Oh, wow, that was, that was easy. All right. We have bagels. You thought this was the cave he was in for some reason? Okay, well, first off, he's not in a cave. And while you do have to go to a cave when you're looking for him, the game clearly tells you north of Middenhall. Alright, Gonzo Shitcock has been poisoned. You know, it'd be great if, like, the guy who's, like, who was from the, that caller to Howard Stern who called himself Gonzo Shitcock one day wandered into one of my streams. Just randomly, you know? Like, I don't know if he's a gamer or whatever, but... This is like tooling around on uh, Twitch, and oh, I don't know if you guys heard that, but Gibbs just farted. 
Oh, dude, you're nasty, Gibbs. You're nasty. How does it feel to be a nasty ass? Wait, hold on. We gotta shame you. Hold on a second, guys. We gotta shame him. Oh, wrong thing. Gibbs. Gibbs, you're a nasty bitch. Why'd you fart? Nasty. That was nasty. You nasty. Oh, hey, Nick. How's it going? A weekly stream with Gibbs showing on screen. If I could rig my phone somehow to be like Gibbs cam, that would be really cool. Oh. Oh, I've shown my face many times. There's no reason that I would not show my face. Just want to get this stupid key. All right, bubble slimes in a fair. We're gonna definitely go after the bubble slimes first, cause these poisonous. Those nasty, you know, they come up to you and they put the slime on you and then you poison and you got to go to the hospital and they give you a big shot. So glad you don't have to worry about casting glow or using torches or anything in this game. Uh, Army Ant I'm not super concerned with. Yeah, the thing is, like, I would have to rig it in a way that it would stay on him, you know? That's true, I usually do put me and Gibbs selfies, oh, seat of life, on the, uh, oh, I guess Ampersand has it. Prince Ampersand, descendant of Arobase, descendant of Erdrick, cousin of Prince Gonzo Shitcock of Middenhall. There we go. Oh, 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 but it's empty. Oh, nothing there. Fat rats. Big hugs. Yep. Yeah, I'll be getting to the princess fairly soon. It's a bit of a trek to get to her, but I'm going to try to prioritize getting her as quickly as possible because she does... She'll be joining at level one. Oh, I got a Camaro wing. Although she's so powerful, it doesn't really matter that much. And to do a little herb. More army ants. That voice sounds like the hormone. I ain't no damn hormone monster. I'm meat raw, bitch. Ain't you never seen Aqua TV Hunger Force? Or Aqua TV Show Show? Or Aqua something, you know, whatever. Whatever else knows how. I don't fucking know, bitch. That's the key. We got some magi. I don't know, damn hormone monster. I'm too young for that. Me, wild bitch. Fat rat sounds like a beer. <laughs> okay. What luck, the silver key? Alright. There might be one or two more things hidden here. Look we'll at the hell out. Magi! Back when Adult Swim was good. Yeah, that Cause you watch Adult Swim now and a bunch of stupid stoner shows with live action people and reruns of Family Guy. Ain't nobody wanna see that shit. They're missing me. Yeah. Alright, more army ants. Fat Rat is also a band. Oh, there you go. By the way, I had a very interesting experience earlier. Me and Mom sitting at the dinner table, well, the breakfast table, really, because we were having breakfast. Me and Mom sitting there eating breakfast and listening to Iron Maiden. Oh, there's a bunch of money in there, so I definitely have enough money for that armor now. Let me move that over. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, this army ant really wants to take that one hit point away from me early. Fucker. And by the way, the reason that I named him Gonzo Shitcock is because Wayne was in the chat, and I say, hey, you know, what should I name, you know, Aerobase's descendant? And he says Shitcock, and I'm like, I'm not going to put Shitcock, I'll put Gonzo, though, it'll be short for Gonzo Shitcock. So, Appersad reached level 8, Prince Appersad, and he learned Fizzle, which would be useful if I was running into enemies that were trying to cast spells on me. 
Well, you know what it is, is that my mom is a big fan of the show Supernatural, which personally I think it's brain poison. But she enjoys it, so, you know, what the fuck ever. And she's got to tell me all about it all the time, because, you know, that's just the way mom is. And she was telling me how, um, oh, they didn't use Carry On, Carry On Wayward Son in this episode. They used some other song. And she's like, I'm pretty sure it was Iron Maiden, but I don't know, like, really their music. So I don't know what song it was. You, like, can you name some of their songs? And I'm like, no, they have, like, like 15, 16 albums. It's just it's ridiculous to just try and rattle off Iron Maiden songs. So I was like, do you know what episode it was? I'll look it up, you know. So I, you know, she's like, oh, it was like whatever the latest season, you know, in the first episode. I'm like, all right, look it up. And the name of the episode was, um, uh, it was, it was the name of the episode was Stranger in a Strange Land. And I'm like, well, that's probably the song because there's an Iron Maiden song called Stranger in a Strange Land. And, and she wanted to hear it to see if that was the song that was in the episode. So we're sitting there listening to the fucking Iron Maiden album, uh, Oh, I didn't mean to try to run. Good thing I didn't get away. Uh, Somewhere in Time, which has that on there. Bunny Money? What? What is Bunny Money? Um, I named the princess Tilda. Well, actually, AJ was the one that came up with Tilda. Get these Cobra Kings out of here first. So there's Gonzo, Shitcock, Appersat, and Tilda. Oh, oh. Fat rat wants big hugs. Yes, he does. But yeah, I never seen no horm hormone. Mo Jesus. Oh, I get a first free round. Shit, I'm gonna fuck these snakes up. Snakes, punch them in the face. Why do it have to be snakes? I'm still pissed that Gibbs is sitting there basically with his ass pointed at me. He farts. Good thing I didn't smell, because y'all know dog farts can be some of the nastiest ass shit in the world. Thankfully, it didn't smell. I would be gagging. Bunny money sounds like something you get in the Playboy here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You go to the Playboy Mansion and you buy some bunny money to spend. Like Disney bucks. Except with tits. Oh, my God. The encounter rate is going insane. Not that I mind getting all the experience and shit, but holy crap. Oh, Gonzo Shitcock's low on health. Is a reference to an Earthbound ROM hack where rabbits try to ruin Christmas? Dude, I don't even play regular Earthbound, alright? You gonna come at me with Earthbound ROM hack? I should heal, but I'm so close to this castle, it would be better to just go in and stay at the end there. Oh my god, why is the encounter rate going insane? It's like all of a sudden, like, when I was trying to fight monsters and get more health, I'm, like, walking halfway across the map without meeting anything. When I'm just trying to get back to the castle, it's like every few steps, I'm going to heal him. Sometimes I think that you get more encounters when you're low on health. I don't know if it's really a thing or not. But... Like, I know this terrain is high encounter rate, but damn, that was crazy. Alright. More weak enemies. Holiday Hex. Alright. Good for you, man. <laughs> man, like I said, I don't even fuck with normal-ass Earthbound. Not that I think it's that bad. I mean, people get this idea that I say Earthbound is terrible. I think it's an average game. I just think it's just overblown how, uh, how good it is, you know? I mean, I did make videos where I was basically saying it sucks, but that was just, you know, to be an asshole. Alright, let's stay at the end. Not going to Hamlin yet? Well, I just got the silver key and I'm trying to buy armor. Well, Moogle, could you try not to direct me? I've played Dragon Quest II a lot of times. I know what I'm doing. Why would I try to go all the way to Hamlin when I got, like, ten health? And plus, I haven't even unlocked any silver doors yet. Alright, so that's for Gonzo Shitcock. Oh, alright, hold on. Let me sell off some, like, random shit that I have. Like, 
Like antidotal herb, definitely don't need that. Don't need quite so many medicinal herbs either. All right, there we go. All right, chainmail, Prince Gonzo. There we go. Sell off. Oh, there it is. Leather armor. All right. Gives is greater than Earthbound. That's a uh, that's an easy statement. Kind of a Kind of a cold take, but I agree with it. Yeah, quiet in the back seat. Don't make me turn this stream around right now. I swear I got out. Tired off my ass. I don't know why I turn into Dana Carvey's impression of Catherine Hepburn, but there you go. All right, that's actually a gold door. I can't open that. I don't think there are any silver doors here, but I definitely want to go back to left one and go to the tombola thing and do that. And then there's uh, at least one or two silver doors back in Midden Hall, so I'll just make that trip real quick. Mollusks. <laughs> those things look like they'd be mad slimy. Like, I would not want to fuck with those things. I wouldn't try to fight them. I wouldn't be trying to make them friends with them. I'd just be like, you stay over there, I'll stay over here. We're good. Come at me, though, I'm going to kick you. All right. That's a silver door. Boop. This is the tombola. I do have two of these tickets, so I might as well do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do it. Got star. Slime. Slime. Eh. Alright, so that means I get a free ticket. I know, Gibbs, I know, everything's terrible. I know, it's just, it's, it's, it's the way life is, dude. Heart, heart, and, hey, three hearts, we got something. Let's see what we get for that. Fifth prize of a medicinal herb? Man, keep it! Dumb bitch. Medicinal herb. Get out of here with that white bitch shit. Moon, heart, and slime. Okay, that sucked. Visit me when you feel this lucky. Do you feel lucky? I don't think there's anything else to do here, so I'm just gonna go back to Midden Hall. You thought there was a person laughing at first? Slime worked more like an onion. Yeah, the slime's shape is like an onion. As a matter of fact, I'm going back to an area where you'd run into slime, so you see the, how they look like onions. Gibbs, come on, man. Get off of me. Could you just, like, lay down or go chew on your bone or go get married or something? All right, thank you. That's good enough. Hey, see? See, they look like onions. Free slime. Onion slimes. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Ooh, I have a medicinal herb that I don't need or want. Oh, fucking really? Ah, right, here we are. Japan and their food, you Marie. Well, I mean, a big part of it is Akira Toriyama did the designs, and he's way into um, food humor. All right, I can open this door. I don't think I can open this one. This is a gold door, right? Yeah, no. But I can get in here. Ah, fuck. Took one step too far. There we are. Get in there, you bitch. Oh, all I can do is talk to this asshole till I get the jail key. 
What bringeth you to the castle, highness? Tis no castle dungeon, highness. Tis no place for one of the royal line. It's a royal line if I ever heard one. That can't be all there is. Let's see what else there is to do around here. Oh, there's two silver doors over here. A tumbler ticket. I guess I'll stop and left one again. News of the tragedy that did befall Fair Moonbrook hath reached mine ears. Tis plain Hargon commandeth the power, both dark and terrible. Both dark and terrible? Man, I don't know about this. I mean, if he has a dark power, that's one thing. If he has a terrible power, that's another thing. But if his power is both dark and terrible, I don't know if I can deal with that. Nor hath he one drop of mercy for any who would stand against him. Take care upon thy quest, child. She's like, dude, you're doomed. Have fun. The banishing bell serveth to guard its owner against malign magics. Thus armed, a man may face his foe without fear of being sent into a magical slumber or prevented from casting spells. Well, that's handy. Oh, wait, wait, let me go in the teleportal. I know that it puts you behind a locked door, but I want to see, like, which door it is. Oh, never mind. It actually just puts you on an island where you can't do anything. Never mind. Dream sequence. That wasn't super useful. We'll come back when we get the gold key. But I will pop off and left one along the way so that I can do another tombola thing. Just this pond with an eternal whirlpool in it, yeah. It's gonna get kicked in the bass by Gonzo Shitcock. This is where Luffy of One got that idea. Sounds like a phone ringing. No, dude, there's not a phone ringing. It's the uh, it's the dream sequence from Wayne's World. Dream sequence or flashback. <laughs> I ain't gonna walk in that shit. Mollusks appear! Whom shall fighteth? Talking like that is exhausting, but it's also kind of making me want to do, like, like Brave Fancy Musashi or something. Alright, just pop off here again, because I did pick up another Tombola ticket. Move, bitch! Get out the way! Oh, dude, I should have hit now so he doesn't. Without further ado, let the game begin. Heart, slime, moon. Well, that sucked. Alas, a crying shame indeed. Thou sucketh. Which is the best Dragon Quest? Uh, which is? Oh, no, dude. Best Dragon Quest on the Super NES would be Dragon Quest V. If a mostly na naked native guy shows up to guide us somewhere, we... Okay, if a mostly naked native guy shows up to guide us somewhere, we better follow him. Let's do the Scooby-Doo ending. Dana Carvey was on Howard Stern the other day, and he was talking about how he actually, at one point, quit the Wayne's World movie. Because, um... Basically, they told him that he would have some, uh some say in the script and then uh, you know he would put these jokes in for Garth you know and then they were taken out and he was just like alright you know if you guys are not going to let me write anything then I'm just not going to do the movie and they were like they thought he was bluffing and he's like nah I'm the... <laughs> so obviously he did the movie they let him put those things in. He wanted Garth to have at least someone. Like, he knew Garth was the sidekick and not the main focus of the movie, but at the same time, he wanted him to have an arc. It's old man Jenkins. I know what you meant to say, and I'm saying that you're forgetting that Dragon Quest V was on the Super NES, or Super Famicom, rather. And to be honest with you, as much as, um... As much as that I agree that 
Lufia 1 is very much like a Dragon Quest style game. Because Lufia didn't have its own identity yet. It was very much like this is basically Dragon Quest. Um, I would also say that Dragon Quest 6 was better. Have you journeyed unto the shrine which lieth to the south of Middenhall? Yes. Then I need tell you not. What's up? To the south of here lieth the castle of Moonbrook. Go forth and may the goddess smile upon you. Alright. I think you... Is it straight down or do I got... I gotta go to the left. I think it's just straight down. We got fat rats. Well, if you're going by North American SNES, then it's the only one. So it's also the worst. I forget if you if I was supposed to go over to the side yet or not. A centipede. Kick his fucking ass. Centipede is defeated. How much money do I have? Oh, I'm, I'm rich, bitch. Damn. What do we got? More Cobra Kings. Yeah. And you know it must have been Mike Myers behind that. He also talked about how basically, um, well, he, he, you know, like, Dana Carvey seems like he's a really nice guy who would never say anything really bad about anybody. But Howard kind of got it out of him a little bit that, like, Mike Myers essentially stole the idea of Dr. Evil from him. That the whole thing that Dr. Evil, the voice, the mannerisms, the pinky thing, was all something that Dana Carvey created... It was his impression of Lauren Michael. You know, the producer of Saturday Night Live. And, he, you know, and, and it was a thing that he never did it on Saturday Night Live because he said he didn't want to, like, bite the hand that feeds him. But he would do this impression of Lauren and everybody thought it was funny. And then all of a sudden you go to see Austin Powers and Mike Myers is doing that exact impression. Oh, somebody leveled. Prince Gonzo Shitcock has reached the 10th level. It was a very good interview. I mean, all Howard Stern interviews tend to be really good, but it was, it was like a super good interview. All right. Oh, these centipedes are actually a little on the tough side. So let me just throw a... I'm going to throw a sizz in there. I know, Gibbs. Everything's terrible. Cool. Did really well there. The human centipede. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Boop. All right, here we are. Let's talk to people. Oh, hey, get back here. My dearest Gonzo, can it truly be thee? Tis I who did tend to thee as a child in the castle of Middenhall. To meet with thee thus after all these years is, why, tis like unto a dream. Aye, cool. Tis a perilous world indeed in which we find ourselves. Why, but a few days ago, I myself was set upon by a common cut purse on the way to Karnak. Luckily for me, the thief was soon apprehended. I dare say he languisheth in the dungeon there, still the villain. <laughs> Tis no more than he doth deserve. Let's stay at the end here. Both don't really have a career anymore. Yeah. I mean, at least Dana Carvey, like, still seems like he has some dignity, though. Mike Myers is just... Like, nobody really likes him. He's an asshole. He hasn't been in a good movie in a long time. And he's just, like, such a cringy person. Moonahan welcometh thee, friend. Here in this place of many meetings do the peoples of the world come together. Cool. Tis said that a miraculous cloak lieth in a tower in this land, which alloweth mortal men to ride the wind like unto the birds. Though he leap from atop the tallest of precipices, the wearer of this enchanted item will float unharmed to the land below. Remember these words, friends, for they shall surely serve thee well. I know not how exactly, but they shall. That's fair enough. Shouldst thou wish to visit Moonbrook, thou needst only journey a short way to the south and west of this place. Go thee first southward, then west. But beware the beasts that surely seek to make thine every step thy last. I know about random encounters, dude. All right, let's see what kind of like shit they have here. All right, so it's the Iron Lance. Steel Broadsword's even better, but I can't afford that yet. Only Gonzo can have that. 
And I have full plate armor and steel shields. All right, let me get a iron lance for Ampersat. There we go. And then we'll sell off this plain clothes that I found. We'll sell off these herbs. I'm not going to need them. They're not worth a lot, of, but it's just get them out of my inventory since there's no bag in this game. You have no sack in this game. <laughs> there is no sack in Dragon Quest 2. Alright, we'll sell the chain sickle. And oh, 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 that was the wrong thing to hit. I dishonored. Antidotal herb. He says it's worth slightly more. I'm gonna keep the chimera wing. Because those are somewhat useful. Is there anything else to sell? Two Chimera Wings, actually, but I like to keep those in case you ever need them. That's a bank. What's your problem? Oh, it's Tom below. All right, never mind that shit. Did I talk to you yet? I did. All right. Let me see what the chat's saying. Yeah. Mike Myers was also in Inglorious Bastards, believe it or not. Yeah, Master Disguise was terrible. So was Love Guru. But like I said, at least Dana Carvey seems like he still has some dignity. Oof, 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 oof. Believe it or not, this dog is the princess. She's just under a curse right now. Prithee, friend, hast thou in thy possession a tumble a ticket or two? No. Tis a pity, friend, but do not fret. Purchase three sufficient goods from the item shop, and thou art sure to receive one. Oh, I don't really care about that. Within these stout walls, like, oh, this is the bank? All right, hold on. That other thing must have been the item shop, then. Wait. If this is the priest, then what's the point? Oh, wait, oh, wait. I was like, what's the point of the other guy? I think this guy just saves your game, which I might as well do. Behold, thou canst record thy progress in an adventure log even here. Verily, the world in which we live waxeth more wondrous with each passing day. Brave gonzo shitcock. <laughs> I guess I'll save it. Yeah, Princess sure is a dog. Like, literally, she's a doggo. Um, we'll talk to this guy. Oh, words cannot well express my shame. Stricken with terror, I did flee the castle in its time of direst need. And now Moonbrook is, and Princess Tilde. Oh, Princess Highness. <laughs> well, you suck, sir. You just suck, diddly up. All right, um... Let's see if I can make a mad dash for that mirror. I just forget the actual, like, the exact path to get there. So I'm just gonna kind of feel my way around a little. So who do we got here? A bad boon and two dragon fry. Um, I know these bad boons are kind of tough, so I'm gonna focus on him. Because I'd like to get my pr the princess in the party sooner rather than later because she joins at level one. Dragon fries are not that much of a threat. What'd I get? A tombola ticket. Why did one of those enemies have a tombola ticket? Who even knows? All right, fat rat, that's no threat. Yeah, it's true. Steven Seagal's still doing that. Okay, wait, there it is. I see that. Ooh, it's a corpse corporal. Oh, God, he's still alive. All right, we got him. So I got to get down to that little patch of poison down there, and I think... Fuck! Drac mages. I'm trying to see if I... I should have cast Sizz on these guys, but they're very weak. I should have... I'm trying to see, like, what the best path to get there is, if I have to go north or not. Bad boons are a pain in the ass. Well, they hit you pretty hard, but once you level up a few times and you get good armor, they're not much of a threat. Okay, it looks like I do have to go up and around, and fuck. Magus and two bad boons. All right. 
Yeah, see, they, they hit hard, but as long as you're well aware of the threat. And I do have Chimera Wings to rush back if I need to. Are you dead? Hey, a critical hit! Yep, it shows you where the Lars Mirror is. It's funny because, um... Like, Dragon Quest 1 was like that too, where, like, you can obviously see where there were hidden items because it was sparkly. And I get it, like, these games do not need to be as Byzantine and, um... Just basically... That was a smog. Let me cast a spell on this guy. As obtuse as... Oh, wow. The spell didn't work. Right, never mind. And he just got fizzled. I mean, the, the original game, they were very obtuse, and everything was very just... Um, hard to figure out, you know? So I'm glad that they kind of fixed that. All right, three of these guys is a bit of a threat, but... Soften them up a bit with that. Oh god, all three are alive. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Oh no, I meant to kiss the spell! Alright, that's okay. Oh, fuck. Dragon Quest Collection for Switch? That, I would snap that right up. What'd I get? An Oaken Club. Well, that'll be for selling. Heal Gonzo. Heal Ampersat. It's quite a trek down there, so if I don't make it the first time, or if it's starting to look bad, I'll uh, use a, one of the wings to get back and, ooh, dodged it. That's not good. Ah, fuck. Nervous fingers tapping easily. Well, I did pretty good there. I don't think I need another spell. Oh, well, maybe I did. Screw this guy. The good news, though, is look how much experience and gold I get from them. I'm just trying to make a mad dash for that mirror, because if you know what you're doing, you grab the mirror, you restore the princess. You're supposed to go to the castle and find out from the ghost of the king that the princess was cursed and the princess is a dog now. But if you know that that dog is the princess and you know where the mirror is, you can just make a mad dash for it and get her in your party that much earlier. At least it's not like Ultimate Exodus. <laughs> We do need another re We don't even need a remaster. Just a straight port would be great. We need some way to play 9 with all the DLC and everything. So, Prince Apisad is level 9. Oh, wait. What spell did he get? Did he get a spell? Hold on. I thought it said he had... Oh, so heal, Sizz, Fizzle, and... Sc oh, he... Alright, he didn't learn anything. I thought it said he learned something. All right, centipedes are no big deal. We can handle this. I don't have a lot of magic left, though, so I gotta be careful. That's one down. And they don't hit nearly as hard. Yeah, seven and eight were released on the 3DS fairly recently. Uh, let me get over there. Just like this, I... More centipedes. I forget the exact path, so I'm kind of like, uh, how do I do this, you know? Not that way. Probably down here. Somalanth is... Re oh, I'll take care of the dragon fries and just hope the Somalanth doesn't cast sleep on me. Those dragon fries, they, uh, they're pretty easy to kill. Oh, there he goes with snooze. 
Well, Ampersand's still awake. Dragon Slayer Anthology? Good luck with that. Most of those games haven't even been re-released in a long time. So Gonzo Shikok's level 11. Somnolence. All these bridges, and there can't be one that just goes there, you know? Oh, great, they're both asleep. This is fantastic. All right, Gonzo's awake. Get fucked. Shit. Alright, so... Oh my god, really? Just run. Nope. Damn it. These corpse corporals have a lot of hit points. I, please... Oh my god, please get away from these guys. I'm very nearly there. Alright, I have to attack. You need to heal yourself. You got one more shot of heal. Might as well use it on yourself. I don't want to have to use the wing when I'm this close to it, you know? I'm just trying to get there. Oh, God. All right, at least 9% set still alive. Oh, my God, he missed. You dirty fuck ass. Thank you. And Gonzo Shitcock's awake. These guys got a lot of health. And they're not doing a hell of a lot of damage, but they're wearing me down, and... It's rough. Times are bad everywhere. I barely moved. Let's try and get away. Nope, of course not. Try it again. Alright, we got away. Jesus, and there's four of them? No. Come on. Oh my god, are you kidding me? They're gonna kill me. Run. No, at least they're defending. Run. Jesus. Oh, this is the path to the tower. Motherfucker. It's so hard to get your bearings and get where you need to go when you're taking... When you're getting into fights like every fucking step. I've clearly gone the wrong way. That's to get to the tower. Alright, let me go ahead and I, we'll play it safe and I'll go ahead and use a Chimera Wing. Obviously, I was incorrect in my way of getting there. You feel like you've been hit by a coal truck. Very specific. Not just any truck, but a specifically a coal truck. It's very strange. How much money do I have? I'll, okay, well, at least I can buy more, like, weapons and shit. Wait a minute, am I back in left win? Is this the right town? Like, where am I? So I did save my game there, didn't I? No, this is fucking left win. How did I get all the way back there? I did save my game. In the other town. I thought it's supposed to bring you back to the town where you last saved. Well, that's rough. I have to walk all the way back there. Get, come on, Gibbs, get down. Get down, Gibbs. Gibbs, get down! You're not listening. No, it doesn't mean get on top of me. It means get down. Ah, fuck. You're making me drop the phone. Settle yourself down. That was weird. I thought the Chimera Wing was supposed to bring you back to where you last saved the game, not random town. Oh well, whatever. It's not that long of a walk. Ooh, he ran. I can buy... Probably... Do I have enough for... I don't know. I'm after selling. I'll see if I have enough for that sword. Otherwise, we'll just buy whatever. But uh, I want to make sure that I do this right. Apparently, that was not the right way to go. That was how to get to the tower. So that means that I went all that way for nothing, and I'll have to go back there when I need to do that tower, but I don't need to do it right away. He wants cuddles. 
No, it's what it is is he just he likes to just stand there next to me in front of me and it, it's like dude he, like either sit or lay down or just do something. Like if he wants cuddles, he would lay down next to me like he is right now. Good boy. I don't want you to lick my elbow repeatedly though. That's really weird. Could you stop licking my elbow? Good boy. All right, may just too fat. Right, we'll go after. Oh, whoop. okay. Did I just waste the chimera wing because I clicked it by accident? Does he still have it? Okay, good. Creepo doggo. Yeah, he's, he was kind of being a creepo there. All right, Gibbs. He's a good boy. All right. So actually, all right, so that's not the way to get to the mirror. That was the way to get to the tower. So it's probably a more direct route to that fucking mirror. And I couldn't really look around more. I was trying to look around to see the past, but every time I moved, I was getting attacked. Like, literally, the encounter rate has gone way up. And I think, I really do think that in some of the earlier Dragon Quest games, it certainly doesn't apply to the new ones, but in the earlier Dragon Quest games, I really do think that there was some sort of fuck shit in the code that would raise the encounter rate when you're low health. Now, right now, I don't know why it's so high and I'm getting attacked every few steps when I'm walking. I'm at full health, pretty much, and I'm walking across just a normal plain. It's not like it's forest or hills. So that's just kind of weird, but, yeah, you know. It, the reason that it's bothering me so much is the whole purpose of making a mad dash for that mirror was to add the princess to my team before I leveled up too much because she's, she, you know, she's going to join you. She's going to be level one. Kassap, really? Alright, let's get these guys. Oh, stop with Kassap, dude. You take eight damage from a mage, just you know your defense is low. I don't know why the wing didn't bring me back here. Bad boons, and they're just gonna go ahead and attack. I see how it is. It's rude. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, Ampersat's dead. I gotta run. Oh my god, I'm gonna die! And I'm dead. I could get all the way to the tower, but I can't just walk to this town. Let me see if I can maybe... <sighs> Alright. Let me try something here. Well, actually, I don't know if I want to do that with that. Because I don't know if it's as good as the last game with the... I'm going to make a save, like, Adventure Log 3. I'm going to close the app and see if there's, like, a quick save from before. Like, an auto save from before that. Good boy, Gibbs. What's a good boy? Oh. Oh, that's from a previous game. Shit. I didn't see an autosave thing, I just saw a quick save. Oh well, no big deal. It sucks because I just lost a bunch of money. And I gotta pay to have him revived. Oh, I wasn't trying to talk to you! Jesus! No, I don't want to save it. I just did. I will continue the quest. Leave me alone. Right, I gotta get him resurrected, which also costs money. Uh, resurrection... 45? That ain't so bad. That was just a bad run of luck there, with the three baboons. Smearing it on my chest, man. All right. Um, all right. Let's try to let's try that again. That was pretty bad. Uh, that was a bad fail. 
let's see if we can make our way to that thing. Maybe this way. Like go around the lake. There's the castle. It was just really hard to see the path to... Okay, Dragon Friar, no big deal. It was really hard to see the path to... Um, that mirror with like every few seconds, like every three steps I'm running into something. It was crazy. So, oh yeah, you know, uh, uh, find some Dragon Quest too. Ah, uh, these assholes. All right, Schmogs. These guys are pretty magic resistant, as I saw earlier. So Sis would have no effect. I'm trying to get Princess Tilde to join me, but she's trapped in a dog body right now, right, Gibbs? Stop fizzling me, you weirdos. All right, Gonzo Shitcock reigns supreme. Oh my god, that's how easy it was? I could have just done that. I went all that way. All right, there's Ra's mirror. I'm not going to try to use a fucking wing, because apparently the game doesn't know where to bring me back to. Right, let's kill these somnol ants before they cast snooze on me. How's it going, AJ? Are you stop with Kassap? Rude. Ugh. He just shows up and be like, oh, by the way, be right back, Eden. And I get another Oaken Club. I think I have two of those to sell, actually. Which is good, because now I don't have much fucking money after dying like that. Oh my god, didn't I not just fight these fuckers? Get fucked, Somnolance. Of course, the one that survives cast Snooze. At least it didn't work. So there's that. I know, kids, I know. I know, everything sucks and everybody's stupid. I know. Tell me about it. Centripedes! I know! That's real. Got his ass. Alright, Corpse Corporal and Heal Slime. Let's take out the Heal Slimes first. There we go. Dazzle! Oh, that's annoying. Well, they both hit, so that really didn't do much. Even though he was blocking, I still did do damage. There we go. So he got dazzled for nothing. And some magi. Mr. Gibbs out. Hey, somebody's leveling. It is Prince Apisat, level 10. And he learned Zoom. Could have used that before, but no. Oh, he had no magic left. Oh god, these fuckers. Alright, attack. Let's use Sis. There we go. The good thing is they're slow, so you can usually get your hits in before they attack. Leaves the one. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it doesn't take long to get money here. It's just the whole thing of all that experience that I gain without the princess, and you know, it's kind of a waste. All right, Gonzo's level twelve, but we're about to get her in the party now. I'll still go visit the ghost and everything, go to the castle, but oh, I gotta actually use the. Oh, oh, she, oh, dog's following me now. Okay. Um, Ross Mirror, use. No, really? Do I gotta face the, oh, I think I gotta leave and come back. I think you gotta be facing the dog. 
Or do I have to know that that's the princess? Shit. Okay, so let's see. Items. Osmir. Use. That is, a beautiful princess can be seen in the reflection. The mirror shatters into a thousand tiny fragments, and with that, the curse upon the princess is lifted. Yay! Hey, Clark Extreme! Yeah, I still know, but I mean, I'm waiting on the hard drive. Uh, it actually should be... Oh, I didn't read that. It actually should be in the mail today, but I haven't had the chance to go to the post office and everything, but um, even after I get everything fixed, it's going to take me a few days to get everything together. I mean, I have to reinstall Windows, install all my programs, update drivers, let Windows Update do its thing, download my games and everything. So, you know, it's a good thing that I have mobile streaming to um, keep me going. Well met, save your mind. I am Tilde, Princess of Moonbrook. I suspect thou art already aware, the castle in my home was laid waste by the minions of Foul Hargon. Twas those brutes who did transform me into a common mongrel and banish me here. Oh, Hear that, Gibbs? She said the M word. Rude. But what is such humiliation compared to my people's suffering? I must not dwell upon it. Pity profiteth them not. Come, let us join forces that we may vanquish our common enemy as one. So that's it. All three cousins are united. Finally. That happened to you too with the dog princess. Not the M word. All right, so she's joined me, which is great. And as you can see, look at this. Well, actually, like, to really to really hammer home how good of a character she is, let me stay at the end real quick. Actually, I have the same amount of money that I had before. Go figure. So let me just show you guys something. So if I go here, you can see she has 32 hit points. Ampersat only has 47. It's a little bit more. He's level 10. She's level one. She has, t you know, 28 magic points at level one. She's so ridiculously good. It's just ridiculous how how useful she is. All right, no, no, no. All right, so we got our three cousins. Let me go ahead and see if I can buy anything with the amount of money that I have here. Okay, so... I don't have enough for the steel broadsword. I, I can't get a full plate armor. Let's get that for gods or shitcock. Okay. I shall sell his... Oh, I got an oaken club. Another oaken club. I'm making progress. And the chain mail. I know the princess can't wear that. She, there's very little armor she can wear, to be honest. Oh, wait. Let's see if he has anything to sell. Nope. She... So she only has a cypress stick and plain clothes. Okay. I believe she could use a knife that you can get at one of the previous towns, so I might, like, backtrack to left one or something. But, um... Yeah. <laughs> that a dog... Oh, God, wait, really? Oh, package was delivered. Excellent. Although... How, how was it sent? Because it wasn't delivered to the house, I can tell you that, because if any, like, parcel post had come here, the dogs would have been barking, and they would have gone insane. Um, so it must be, it must be, like, at the post office, probably. Okay, so the next step is going to be, let me, how much money do I have? 430? That's probably enough to buy, like, whatever. Oh, I can pick which town. Okay, let's go back to, I think, Left Wind. There was that that knife that they sell there. I think she can use that. Plus, I have a Tombola ticket, don't I? Let's do it. Probably, yeah, so I probably have to go into town to go to the post office. Probably tomorrow I'll be like, yay, I'm taking the car, I'm going to town. <laughs> Oh, well. Didn't win that time. Stupid game is stupid anyway. Alright, let me go ahead and... Um, uh, don't forget to get me the return label for that other that, that other hard drive. So I can send that back. And you can get your money back. Alright. Divine Dagger. There it is. And I can't afford it, and she does use it. Okay. Give that to her. 
And then we can sell that stick, although I'm sure it's not worth anything. 15 gold? I'll take the 15 gold. Because an inventory is at a premium, so... Oh, yes, I heard about it. Leave me alone. I already talked to you. Okay, cool. AJ's away eating right now. Oh. Well, we're getting there. We're getting there with the PC. All right, so let's zoom back to Monaghan. Okay, so let's see. What else? I mean, I, there's other stuff that I need to buy. So let me just look again at what I need to buy and what it's going to cost me. And then we can start grinding for money. Okay, so we want the steel broadsword, which is 1500 So let's just get, let's work on that. And like I said, Princess Tilde here is only level one. So, hey, AJ, there you are. It won't take long, I don't think, but you get a lot of money from... What is she? She only has mid-heal? All right. You get a lot of money from enemies around this area. Especially when you can kill them that fast. Holy shiitake mushrooms. Tilda's level two. And she learned snooze. Excellent. I'm gonna fight down here. See, now that I want battles, I gotta walk around a lot. When I didn't want battles, it was every. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Spells, says. Alright, there we go. Ooh! Take out the Drac Mages pretty easily. Stop hitting me with your ear, kids. Cute. You're cute, but you gotta quit it. Centripedes and a song on it. She's not super useful in battle yet because she doesn't have any attack spells, but um, she will become very useful once she has attack spells, and she's a really good healer, like way better than Apersad is. You like that the they show the party members as you're walking. It's called caterpillaring. This game invented it, actually. It was the first game to do that. Oh, don't defend. Attack him. Oh. Boom. Especially since the sprites are so cool. I always like the princess's sprite. The other two are a little weird looking, but she looks cool. Alright, somebody's leveling, probably Tilda. Yep, Tilda's level 3. How much money do I have? 533, we're getting there fast. Alright, we got fat rats. These guys are no threat. Oh, when they dodge, that's annoying. Oh my god, so she hit but did no damage. And then the other two, who are supposed to be manly men who can swing a sword, missed. Really useful, guys. We're gonna get hugged to death by a bunch of super friendly rats. They're like, hey, hey, you want a hug? You, you, you got any scones? What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Rat, here. Uh, 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 hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for uh, notifications. Sorry. I apologize. Oh, don't do that Kassab shit. <laughs> Gibbs. I'm being stupid, Gibbs. I love getting ambushed. Smacking me with your ear. He's sleeping next to me and keeps smacking me with his ear because he's twitching. You know how your foot's acting up? That sucks. Ooh, and grown toenail. That sucks. Sorry to hear that. Now and I have you gone to a foot doctor? Those, those things can be kind of nasty. Like I've heard where you, you know you can get surgery to if it gets really bad to, to you can get surgery to get rid of it completely. Obviously, that's something that you know you don't want to do, but that just sucks. 
Oh, yeah, I gotta get the movie downloaded. Jesus Christ. What the fuck are you, Roy Rogers? You're just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna cut this bitch out. Like, what the fuck, man? It's not the zombie apocalypse. Go to a doctor to do that kind of shit. Dragon fry. Oh, oh, oh. I want you to cast a spell. We're in the exact moment in the game where Ampersad is at peak usefulness. <sighs> That's why I try to kill them quickly, because they can cast soon. Better go back and heal up after this one. <laughs> Who leveled? Tilda's level four. She learned Woosh. She said, okay, so Woosh is a good spell, like Sizz. It hits a group of enemies, which I'm going to need it right here, because, oh, you know what, I better run. I'm going to get killed. Well, actually, I'm faster than them. Let's see if I can make this happen. With both Sizz and Woosh, I might be able to kill them all in one shot. Yeah, especially since Woosh, you know, she has such higher magic stat. There we go. Alright, they could have gone very badly had I tried to run and then they would have murdered me. Tarsal tunnel, oof. <laughs> yeah, she has the power to make people not get the joke. The enemies die from embarrassment because everybody's laughing and they don't get it. <laughs> Whoosh! You know what's funny is that um, the other guy, Ampersad, has a spell called Zoom. That could also be the joke zooming over your head, you know? Alright, uh, 929, so we're, we're just about two-thirds of the way there towards our goal. Hey, T-Sparkle, welcome back, man. I mean, I fail to see how a knife is helpful either towards... Like, I know you're saying you don't have insurance or anything, but what if you dig you dig the nail out with a knife, and then you get a fucking infection? Like, what do you, you know, I mean, come on, think about it. There's so many ways that that can go horribly wrong. So I, I agree with now, and I don't see how that's helpful. Like, yeah, you might fix the immediate problem by digging the nail out, but at the same time, you also are putting yourself in a position where you can get, like, really a bad infection. Right, Prince Gonzo's kicking ass. Your cat just flopped on you. Hey, that's better than the cat putting his ass in your face. Just a club to sell. Because that's what cats do. They just put their butt in your face. It's a corpse corporal. Oh, I didn't mean to have Gonzo defend. Well, that's okay. The guy was blocking anyway. Dead meat. Twenty pound cat. That's a chonker. A cat and a crow arguing with each other. That's funny though. All right. You know, to make it more interesting, I think I'll head over to Moonbrook Castle and just take a poke around and talk to the king's ghost. Um, there might be treasures there too that might help me along with this. It's it's just it's not far, it's just like right over to the left here. Alright, centripedes and a dragon fry, and of course they're just gonna ambush the fuck out of me. Like what, what does it even matter? We're just gonna fuck you up. Alright, 
got rid of the one that can cast sieves. And it's just these two assholes. Oh, Tilda's on low health. Yeah, of course your cat does that. All cats do that. So Apricot's reached level 11. Good of him. All right, let's have you use mid heal on yourself. And then we're good. The other two are barely scratched, so. Fat rats. He whispered to him. Rats. 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 Yeah, Chris, that's, uh... You're giving poor AJ sympathy pains here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, here we are. Moonbrook Castle. Woe is me. I am he who was lord and master of this once proud castle of Moonbrook. My dear, dear daughter, the Princess Tilda, has been cursed to roam the land as a common mongrel, a stray dog. Oh, Gibbs, don't listen. He said the N-word. Gibbs is actually sleeping. Can you guys hear him snoring? Well, he stopped now because I said his name, but I don't know if before that you could hear him snoring next to me. That she should suffer such humiliation is... Father, father, tis I, Tilda. Hmm? Who speaketh? Is somebody there? I see no longer, hear no longer, feel no longer. Yeah, he's, he's snoring again. There are treasures here. They're technically behind a jail door, but I can just walk around, I think. Oh, centipedes. Uh... Let's, let's pop them with Woosh as well, because why not? Woosh will probably just murder them right away. Woosh! The joke goes over your head. Now oh, we got another level up. Gonzo Shitcock has reached level 13. Nice. Yeah, I think I could just walk around that. Oh, get out of here. To the east of this castle, in a place whence maybe a speed four bridges. There standeth a surrupting swamp, sur su superating swamp. Beneath its foul surface lieth Ra's sacred mirror. <sighs> Would that I had passed on this knowledge ere I breathe my last. Yeah, I already got the mirror. All right, Cobra Kings and a smog. Um, I don't think I need whoosh. You can, in fact, hear the Gibsy snores. Aw, he's so cute. Nothing! Oh, look, nothing! Oh, look, nothing! Digital style! Alright, we got smogs. These guys are fairly resistant to magic, so I don't want to try anything fancy with them. Sounds sort of like a small coffee pie. <laughs> That's real. That is real. Or oh, we're going to pollute you. We're smogs. You know, Gibbs certainly didn't sleep last night. He, he was up and he was keeping me up. Tilda's were level five. Excellent. Uh, I want to get into the basement. All right, looks like I have to walk through some poison to get there. All right. Oh, shit. Corpse Corporal and some smogs. Let's see if I can get a whoosh off on the smogs. Oh, it did hit. Okay, good. Oh, last one, it didn't hit. All right. Oh, well. Can't win them all. Nobody got dazzled. What I get? Plain clothes. Well, I'll sell that. Oh, look, nothing. Digital style. Ooh, okay. We'll definitely want both of them to cast magic on this. So these guys got hella fucking health, and there's four of them. All right, after percent, take these bitches out. Wow, they're still alive. 
All right, I'll just attack now. They, they can't have a lot left. Whoa! Unbelievable! Bulky bitches, man. Bulky ass bitches. Oh, princess, my princess. Would that I could have guarded thee better. Alas, thou wert by vile magics transformed and banished into a far-flung town. Yet if some brave soul could retrieve Ra's mirror and show thee thy true face in its polished depths, then might the curse upon thee be lifted at last. Wanderer, wilt thou come to the princess's aid? Wilt thou say her? <sighs> Can it be? Tis a miracle! Princess Tilda, you are yourself once more. But how can this be? Ah, the Wanderer, of course. And he fades away. Yeah, I was supposed to come here before getting the princess, but I didn't want to. Alright, we're gonna leave. I know there's one ghost I didn't talk to, but like, whatever at this point. Let me zoom back and heal. I didn't look at how much money I have. It's probably not enough yet. Let's see. Oh. Oh, I actually have more than enough. Shit, damn, motherfucker. I got some fucking motherfucking money. Like Butters, hey, bitch, you, you want to make some motherfucking money? Your mouth was made for the playground, bitch. You want to be my bottom, bitch? <laughs> All right. All right, see, we're going to buy that steel broadsword. For Gonzo shit, get out of here. For Gonzo shitcock. And I'll sell off. Let's see, we've got the Oaken Club. Sell off Chain Sickle. And plain clothes that I picked up. John is motherfucking money. I was doing butters from Butters Bottom Bitch. All right, so what else do we need? Um, I think that's really it. What's in the second floor? Oh, the steel shield. That's like 2,000 gold, damn. Oh, oh, at least I only need one, because Gonzo's the only one using that shit. But, all right. I know, Gibbs. All right, what I'm going to do is... We're going to go to the tower. We're going to do the tower dungeon, and hopefully, after I'm done with all that, I'll have enough money for the... Uh, Sounded like Tony Robbins for a second. <laughs> yeah, a lot of weird shit coming out about him. Yes, I do believe that I know what you are saying. You can tell what my mobile carrier is based on the notification sound and the app I use for texting. Okay, well, go ahead and tell me. What is my mobile carrier and what app do I use for texting? Let's hear it. Oh, that's the wrong way. Uh, we'll do that, and then you can do that on this. So, I'm gonna go do the, the tower dungeon, because I need to get that, um, that special cloak, so that... Because there's one part where you come across a river, and you can't pass it, and what you have to do is you have to climb to the top of a tower, and then jump off of it and glide across the river, and you need a special cloak to do that. Verizon and Meshes Plus, that is correct. Hey, Roy Story, how's it going, man? Yeah, Tony Robbins is uh, the latest... I don't want to say victim, but because uh, he's not a victim. But he's the latest, we'll say, target of the Me Too movement. And uh, honestly, I always thought he looked like a creep. I don't know. It's, it's terrible to judge somebody by their looks, but... When things come out about, like, a guy who just looks like a creep, like a Tony Robbins or a pro Jared, I'm just like, yeah, I could have told you that. Sometimes I can just tell. I don't know. It may sound terrible for me to say that, but I haven't been wrong yet. Well, hey. Well, Roy Story, uh, I know you haven't been to streams in a little while, but I'm um, just letting you know that I am streaming from my phone because my computer's uh, kind of no buenas right now. I've been having issues with it. We're working on getting all that fixed. Some very kind people from my community helping me out. Oh, yeah, you're just going to go ahead and attack. I see how it is. 
But in the meantime, um, streaming from my phone, as well as um, even after I fix it, I because there's going to be a couple of days where I need to re-download everything and reinstall everything and get everything situated. I'll probably be streaming from my phone for like a little while. Um, hopefully not too long, but you know, it's it's actually a lot of fun. So anyway, um, actually, you know what? We'll have to do it because mid heal's a bit overkill. Yeah. So we already played through Dragon Quest One, and we're currently playing Dragon Quest Two. This is the Android version. Yeah, Message Plus is a really good texting app. That video was fake news, <laughs> yeah. The phone port of these games is fantastic. Like, honestly, it plays really well. I mean, honestly, these are really great ports. Um, wait to see Dragon Quest 3. Dragon Quest 3 for Android. Wouldn't have thought that it would work, but they did such a spectacular job with it. It's actually... Um, even smoother than the first two as well. I think it's a completely different engine. Which actually makes sense, because believe it or not, um, back on the old NES days, Dragon Quest 1, 2, and 4 used like pretty much the same engine, whereas Dragon Quest 3, uh, I think partly because of the job system, actually had a completely different engine. Oh, a Tombola ticket. That's something. Okay, so let me go this way actually. So I gotta get to that tower. I got to it before kind of by accident. When I was trying to get to Ra's mirror, I took the wrong path and I wound up at the tower. So now get to getting to it on purpose should be a lot easier. Oh my god, what is that emoji? Is that a... There's a goose emoji? Holy fuck, dude. That's so cool. I love geese, so that's just... If, if there's a goose emoji, I fucking want it. Oh, fuck. Alright. I'm gonna try not to use magic here, but... These corpse corpals just have such an insane amount of health. Well, if they keep dazzling me, I might have to resort to magic. I'll have him use Sis because he's dazzled. I know, Gibbs, I know. And if you hear that 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 grinding, that weird sound, that it's uh, Gibbs is laying right next to me and he's asleep. He's he's actually got his arm. He's he's on my arm. He's got his head on my arm and he's snoring. So if you're wondering what that sound was. Of all the big time YouTubers, you're the only down to earth guy. Honks unite, yo, dude, honk honk, dude. I, I I don't think I'm a big time YouTuber though. Hey, Gonzo Shitcox level 14, that's cool. And somebody else leveled. Ampersaz level 12. Cool. It wouldn't be great if they all leveled up, but hey, whatever. Do I go this way? Yes, there it is. There's the tower. All right, we got bubble slimes. At least these guys are easy. You'll never hear a sex uh, sex scandal about me because I keep my hands to myself. Fuck. Oh god, really? Four of them? All right, let's go off with the magic. At least for one turn. At least two of them are blocking, too. Alright, not bad. How much does Wush even go? Oh, it's not that bad. Alright, go again. No. He doesn't hug blankets. Yeah, I mean, I, like I said, I always thought Pro Jar looked like a creep. Like, you look at that guy's face, and that's the face of a man. Oh, Tilda's level 6. It's the face of a man who wants to show you his penis. Hey, she learned Dazzle. A spell I'll probably never use. All 
All right, here goes nothing. Um, oh, let me go get that treasure. Cobra Kings, no big deal. Can deal with that. <laughs> Caught sleeping with dogs. <laughs> I get good boy. Medicinal herb. I might actually use that just to heal a little bit without having to use magic, especially since she's looking a little ragged. I apparently have two of them. All right, I forget the actual path through here, so I might wander a bit, but no big deal. All right, we got another huge group of corpse corporals here. What time is it? Oh. Not bad. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, any, any, you notice it's almost all celebrities. You never hear, like, Joe from the block got caught up in the Me Too thing. It's always somebody who you know. Okay, so there's the cloak right there. Let's see if I can remember the path to take to get to it. All right, dirty rats. You dirty rat. You could beat my brother. Right, Gibbs? Yep. Where's the lie? Uh, Ampersand's looking a little ragged. I'll use that other herb on him. The dirty rats are defeated. But that's all, folks. All right, all right, that's a lot better. Uh, okay. Oops, shit. Really? All right. <laughs> yeah, Digimon Let's Play or Harry Potter 666 caught up in sex scandal. <laughs> oh, my God. No, I don't. I'm. It's one of those things, Tea Sparkle, that I keep meaning to take care of, and then I never get around to it. Who's that now? That you'd be crushed if anything bad came out. But yeah, I mean, like anybody who gets big, it seems like they either get me too, or or wait, or they get milkshake ducked. It's just kind of ridiculous after a while. It's like, why can't people... Like, it costs nothing to not be sexist or racist or a pervert or Jontron. <laughs> Zisto? I've never heard of him, but I, I, I hope for everybody's sake that they don't turn out to be an asshole. Koromon? I honestly have no idea about Digimon. Like, I don't know anything about it. All right, so all right. So all that was a waste. All right, let me go down and figure out how to get this. There's a very specific path through this place. Wait, let me try going down there. Okay, it's not that one either. All right, let me look around a bit. Oh, we got these assholes. I have you use whoosh. I'm not gonna have Ampersat use spells. He's doing more damage with that sickle anyway. It's nice to hit everybody, but now that I have Tilda, it's not as prevalent. You've never heard of the milkshake duck? Look it up. Google milkshake duck and you'll see what I mean. Oh my god, Chris, that's what you would think about me? That, that, that that's what would come out? Is that I snap and start shooting places up? No, I, I know I know what Digimon is. I just never I never played any of the games or watched the anime or anything, you know. Yep. That's the milkshake. That's what it means to get milkshake ducked. 
right, Gibbs? Oh, he's awake and he's giving me his belly right now. Order, go boy. All right. Wait, you guys want to say hi to Gibbs? Let's see if we can turn the camera on without him going crazy. Hi, Gibbs. Gibbs. Welcome to the land of the living, buddy. Okay, all right, all right. You're gonna get crazy, I can tell. Back to Dragon Quest. All right, get off of me. Ah, uh, wait. I know. It's out here. It's that one. It's the one that you can't see from the entrance. Thou, thou must needs take great care when treading to the tower's edge, friend. Will thou oblige me by showing such prudence? Yes. It seemeth thou art a careful sort. Hast thou perchance stumbled and fallen before, and thereby learnt thy lesson? I don't need to be told not to go near the edge. Yes. Yeah, no, no, it's it's it no, it's nothing like that, Wayne. I wouldn't I wouldn't none of my mods would do anything like that. No blue waffle here. Don't worry, Wayne. It's a safe area. No blue waffle. Nothing like that. None of my moderators would do anything of the sort. Okay, yeah, this is the right way to go. Let me get... Whoa! What is this? It's a corpse corporal! I gotta find out about that goose emoji. I'm, I can't wait to play that uh, Untitled Goose game. Badges. Yeah, it, it's pretty threadbare, T-Sparkle. I'm just glad it works. That's kind of where I'm at, you know? Ugh, really? Get out of here. It's my news alerts. I'll read it later. These guys aren't really a threat, though. They just take a long time to kill. Yep, no badges. But hey, emojis are finally showing up. It only took me loading up the app, like, a bunch of times. Because, like, literally every time I bring it up, it loads emojis. But I guess it was doing it piecemeal. The enemy are defeated. Uh, well, let me see. I don't know if this is it or not. Let me see. Oh, these fuckers. Alright, let me go off on these guys, because they have a lot of health and they hit pretty hard. You did it a dirty ray. It's you k k beat my brother. Fucking really with the alerts. Oh, one turn. Oh we're all gonna get laid. Oh boy. Who leveled? Eversets level thirteen. That must be Tilda. Tilda's level 7. And what I get? A medicinal herb! Here, smoke this healing herb. This might not be what I need, but it might bring me to a treasure chest or something. No, that brought me to the fucking thing. A windbreaker. Break like the wind. And other songs by Spinal Tap. Alright, uh, let's... Come on, we'll transfer that over to you. So I think she can actually use it. Yeah, she can equip that. Wait, why is it? That's weird, like telling me that there's something there when I already gotten it. You have a doggo in your lap? It's a good position to be in. So even though I have what I came here for, let me continue to f finish this place out. Oh, these, these these guys really are dirty rats. Motherfucker, I will fuck you up. Now, yeah, believe it when I see it. <laughs> uh, no, AJ just named Tilda that because it's funny.
Ooh, ampersand's looking a little ragged. Critical hit! I do have one of those herbs. I'm trying to com I'm trying to save money uh, and save money. I'm trying to save uh, ex magic at this point because I'm low on magic and I want to be able to zoom out of here. Gonzo Shitcock has reached level 15. Mm, that's better than what he had. Oh, it's just the top of it. There's nothing else here, is there? Oh, wait, nope. There's the very, very top. Okay, the tippy top. Oh, my God. Let me try and run away. All right, God, we got out of there. Yeah, the shitheads did go crazy when Obama got elected. It was just mayhem. Here we are. A prayer ring. All right. That's a useful item the hell out of here. I see how far away from the tower I am. That's because of the windbreaker. Alright, so we'll zoom back to the hat. Cool! How much money do I have? 2300! That's more than enough for the uh, shield that I want. Do, 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 do. That's a good way of putting it. You just assume everybody's as awful as you are. I mean, that's that's the way that most people act, to be honest. Okay, steel shield for Gonzo Shikok. Equip that. And then we'll sell off the leather shield. And then we'll sell off uh, nothing else. Okay. I do have a Tombla ticket, so I might as well use it. There's a Tombla thing right here. No, I didn't. Oh, I meant to hit no. Oh, well. Heart. Sun. And slime. Oh well. Eat my dick, sir. All right. <laughs> hey, AJ, tell Wayne what I say about the whole white genocide thing. Oh, you just did. Yep. All right, it's... I believe it's quite a it's quite a trek to the next town, but let's go ahead and start moving in that direction. Oh, these fat rats! They're just fat little boys. Oh, see, if you look at it, Tilda already has more magic points and nearly as much hit points as Abersat, and she's like half his level. Abersat's not going to be super useful in end game, other than just being a meat shield. Not that I'm anywhere near the end game. I'm approaching mid-game, but I'm still kind of in the intro. Once you get the boat, I consider that to be the mid-game. A somnol ant. Oh no, whatever will I do? He's going to put me to sweep. Where are you going? Like I said, it's quite a trek to the next town, but we'll get there. Lo, the one... Oh, this is a priest. Yeah, we don't need you. Thoughts and prayers, sir. Thoughts and prayers. Oh, wait, wait. There was a secret there. Was that a... Something I can get through? Oh, it's a, it's a, either a gold or a jail key. All right. Bad boons! Oh, God, Tilda's low health. I wasn't paying attention. Kill it, Gonzo Shitcock. Kill it. Kill it with fire. All right. All right, 
so let's have her mid heal herself. That might have been a little extreme, but you know, whatever. Holy crap, a metal slime. I didn't even run into any of these in Dragon Quest 1, and he's gone. And it's gone. Your money's gone. Move to the back of the line, sir. That's a mummy boy. Just mummy boy, though. Yep, Geraldine Ferraro was the first female vice presidential candidate. At least in a major party. There might have been fringe ones before that. All right, so we got tulips and drac mages. I'm going to concentrate on these tulips. I'm not really worried about the drag mages other than they can cast Kassap. There we go. And they didn't even bother with that. The one, the one guy you're talking about was Ronald Reagan, by the way. And yes, he won every state except for, I think it was Minnesota. It was the only state that Walter Mondale won. Oh, a Killipede. That's actually a little scary. Let's see if we can take it out there. This guy's got very high defense. All right, I'm gonna have to use magic. There we go. All right, so here's where I was talking about. To get past this river, you climb up one of the two towers and you jump with the windbreaker to the other side. Hail, wonder! Hast thou heard? Heard what? No. Oh. Then I shall tell thee! <clears throat> These two spires are known as the Dragon's Horns. In ancient times, the twain were joined by a great bridge. But alas, they stand now divorced from one another, as thou seest, with no means to span the gulf in sight. Yeah, but I can break wind. So, what do you think of that, sir? Also, one of these towers, I think the north one has a um, an item on it. In there. Oh wait, what am I doing? I gotta be careful about this. Um, let's actually cast some spells. Come on, Gibbs, get, get move a little bit, will ya? I'm Weasel. What? You think? <laughs> I gotta heal Tilda a little bit. Nicest. Yeah, there is a hidden item in one of these, although I don't know if. Oh, fucking <sighs> banana hands! All right, try that again. I think it's the north one, but I don't know if you can get it right away or if you have to come back later. All right, you did it, did it, rats. <laughs> Biden said something dumb. Breaking news. Oh, they're calling in reinforcements. That's just fucking. It's fantastic. It's spam tasty. I mean, clearly he's living in a fantasy world. Shaman and I'm a Medusa. Let's concentrate on the shaman first. Nice. Oh, don't do that. Alright, well, he only got Tilda. There we go. Should go beat up slimes and drop his campaign. Oh, that's funny. All right, I got a Medusa and three tulips. All 
All right, there we go. The tulips are not that much of a threat. Except when they do that. Fuck you, dude. Ah, fuck you, dude. No politicians have integrity these days. I don't believe any of them. Not a single one has an ounce of integrity. Tumble a ticket. That's useful. Not. Nah. What do we got here? A tulip and two shamans. All right. Okay, it fizzle me, you big bitch. I definitely gotta heal up after this, though. Mostly Apricot and Tilda. Oh, Kabaf, really? You gonna be a big bitch like that? A big bitch. That's all you is. You a big... You a bitch, but you a big bitch. Big ass bitch. Alright, hey, we got evac. Cool. So that's ampersand to level whatever. Tilda's level 8. And she got holy protection. Cool. That's another spell I'll probably never use. Alright, bad boon and some heal slime. Let's just kill the bad boon right away. Alright, the reign of. Oh, I forgot to heal. That's okay, these guys aren't really that much of a threat. They just mostly heal themselves. The reign of Gonzo Shitcock, Prince of Middenhall, continues undisturbed. And that's probably Gonzo leveling. Yep, Gonzo Shitcock's level 16. Oh yeah, Theresa May resigned. I'm like, hey Trump, you can do it too, buddy. <laughs> Alright, shoe lips. Oh my god, I forgot to heal again. Holy fuck, what is wrong with me? Oh, it's possible with all kinds of pressure on them. That's what, it, that's what it really comes down to, is how much pressure is being put on them. Alright. Alright, that's a lot better. Oh my fucking god. I barely moved. Alright, we got a Medusa and a Shaman. Look, uh, it's Shaman. It's pronounced Shaman. Like in the Michael Jackson song, Shamon. Shamon. Oh, y'all set AJ off. Here he goes. And he's off. Finally. Art thou in possession of the windbreaker, friend? Well, I have broken wind, yes. Then don thee that enchanted garment, and leap from atop the tower here to the land below. Thou wilt glide easily as far as the far shore of the river. Of that there is no doubt. No doubt, I say. Think not. Leap. And there we go. Now, I know there's an item in this tower. I just don't know if it's something that I can get now, or if I have to come back later. So let me go up a few floors and see if I see... Oh, there it is. Wow. And we can get it now. A length of celestial skein. That's something that I'll need way later.
Yeah, Gib sure did. Gib sure did. Wait, what happened? Oh, yeah, I know, you're right. You're right. And they're off, is what I should have said. I wasn't thinking there. Alright, we got big bad boons. Uh, obviously they're dangerous. Let's go all out on these motherfuckers. Yeah, but I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. Noun was correct to correct me. But oh, there's the town, finally. The seafarer's haven of Rippleport doth welcome thee, wanderer. Rippleport? Fuck, I was looking for Nippleport. Is that on a different continent? Like, how do I get there? Shit. Shoo. I'm a knight of Tantagel in the east. Come hither in hopes that I might earn a fair wage by my sword. <sighs> Though it paineth me to confess it, my beloved Tantagel is but a shadow of its former self. Why, even the very king himself hath of late deserted his post. That sounds rough. Okay, this is a safe thing. I guess I'll save it. Uh, what's your problem? Okay, this is the priest. I think starting with the third game is where it was the same thing. The priests had you save the game. Let's definitely stay at the end here. Especially since there is actually a battle in this town. An entire port covered in nipples, right? Nipple port is a very important trade port for dairy products. Yup. Yup. You know what, Wayne? Donald Trump is actually legally not allowed to block you. You could, um... That's actionable. Because there was a lawsuit um, that basically the judge said that Donald Trump is not allowed to block people on Twitter. The thing is, like, after Trump lost that lawsuit, he only unblocked the people that were a part of the lawsuit. Beyond the sea to the east lieth the kingdom of Tantagel, which is the very realm whence the hero of legend and the fair Princess Gwelyn did hail, or so it is said. <laughs> As you do. Oh. Oh, 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 let's talk to this guy. Speak not to me. I crave female company. Good day to thee, fair maiden. Do not think that I do not see thee there, eyes all a-twinkle. Come, share a cup of mead with me, my pretty. Okay, so we ran into Pro Jared. That's rough, but we'll just ignore him. Hey, hey, what's your problem? Oh, do I have a tomboy ticket? I think I do. I don't want you to explain it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see, we got sun, moon, star. Crying shame indeed. I basically got the sky. King saved your game in three. Oh well, that was four then. Twitter should have been long burnt to the ground. I agree. Yeah, I found the pickup artist. You know what's crazy is now they call themselves the seduction community, which is even worse. Like, it sounds even creepier. Ho, ho, ho. Green giant. I'm sorry, I couldn't help it. Thou wishest, wishest to set sail aboard a noble ship of the seas, thou sayest. And wherefore would I break with our town's traditions and entrust one of our great vessels to an outsider? Hmm? Be gone. When I save your daughter or whatever she is to you, you you're going to be thinking differently, I'm just saying. See, she's over there in the upper, upper left-hand corner of the screen getting harassed by two weirdos. And one of those weirdos is Gibbs. <laughs> Thump, thump, thump. I know. I said your name. All right. What do you sell? Anything good? No. What about you, lady? Our town is a place of many comings and goings. That's what she said. As such, we do see a goodly number of odd bodies and boobs. What? What? 
What? Screenshot. The fuck, lady? Odd bodies and boobs. Thou art a traveler, art thou not? I, this is Nippleport. Then thou must not be without a fine selection of items out upon the road. I Odd bodies and boobs? He forgot his fedora. Garbage men and pickup artists should swap titles. Yo, for real. Uh, we are in nipple port after all, it seems. Maybe the person at the be at the beginning who said it was ripple port, maybe they just like have a speech speech issue. They meant to say nipple port, but yeah. But I just love that the whole pickup artist thing. They're like, no, now we're the seduction community, and you're like, oh, that's that's not better. Do I please thee, good sir? Am I fair in thine eyes? Then may have thou wouldst accept for me a hot felt puff puff. You're gonna massage me with your titties? Well, I mean, far be it to me to say no to a lady, so we'll say yes. Thou wilt. Verily, tis music to mine ears. Puff 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 puff. Puff puff puff. I know, Gibbs. I thank thee for thy custom. Should the hunger for puff puff ever assail thee again? would be my pleasure to say to... Oh, get, get off me, Gibbs. Get off me. Come on. No, 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 no. I wasn't calling you. It was Puff Puff, not Puff Puff. Get, get down. Get down. You're smacking me with your tail. Get, get off of me, you big bitch. Ah. Jesus. Uh, all right, all right. I was acting out the game. All right, thank you. Lay down. Okay, good boy. Jesus. That was annoying. Oh. Oh. All right, so here's the armory. Let me see if I have anything to sell first. Uh, no, okay. It, it Gabe started going crazy and started jumping all over me. That's what's happening. <laughs> all right, let's see what they have here. Wizard Staff, which would be good for Tilda, except I can't afford it right now. Divine Daggers, which she's already using. Steel Broadsword. Cloak of Evasion. That's good for everybody. Full Plate Armor. Can't afford anything that I need, though. Alright, so basically we're going to need three Cloaks of Evasion, which is 1800 a pop. That's a lot of money. And a Wizard Staff, which is 4000 But we'll wait on that, obviously, because I have no no... Well, I don't have no monies, but I have less monies than is needed. Oh, it's a bag. All right. Yeah, yeah, they did call themselves that. It's true. The incels are just trolling? Well, they're doing the long con, if that's true, right? Help! Help me, I pray! By heaven, will no one come to mine aid? I am beset by foul fiends! The no desires and hunger. Uh, no. Ah. Uh. Fuck them up. Alright, we got some gremlins. Uh, let's see that and that. Ooh, we dodged it. Not good. Don't do that. Gonzo Shitcock's taking a nap. So is Tilda, actually. Wake up. These guys are tough. You need to wake up. Oh, you need to heal yourself now. Come on, wake up, Tilda and Gonzo. There we go, Gonzo woke up. All right. Oh my fucking god. Are you fucking kidding me? He's got to heal himself again. All right, Tilda woke up. All right, you heal her, and then she can do whoosh. That's one down. Jesus. Ugh. 
Ooh, he shrugged it off. Got him. Incel does sound insulting, but it, they did name themselves that. Alright, and what do I get? A chimera wing! That's stupid. Oh, I cannot thank thee enough, brave adventurer. Full sure was I that mine end was nigh. Prithee, come with me. I would have my dear grandfather know of the great deed thou hast done. Come now, tarry not. Grandfather, grandfather, hark! I have quite a tale to tell thee. You see, they were these two weirdos. And Twould see my granddaughter owe thee her very life, friend. How might so great a debt of gratitude ever be repaid? Give me your boat, bitch. But of course thou shalt have the use of my ship. Please, tis the least this old fool can do. Sail her wheresoever thy fancy leadeth thee. But know this, the seas do swirl and swell most mightily of late. Make thy first voyage a brief one. Sail thee to Alephgard in the east, and hence proceed to the town of Tantagel. The monarch of that fair realm cannot but wait, wish to aid thee in thy quest. May fortune attend thee, young hero. Raid time soon. Not just yet. Soon. I want to get to Tantagel. I'll stay at the end now, because those guys fucked me. Actually, no, I don't want to get to Tantagel yet. What I want to do is I want to... I want to... Yeah, I don't have enough money, but I want to um buy the stuff there. Uh, maybe I should do a raid. What do you think, Gibbs? Let's go save the game. Gibbs, what are you doing? You're biting your tail. That That's something that's so important that you had to do it two inches from my face. Oh, wrong one. I don't want to end the stream just yet, though, but I think I might do, like, a match or two in, like, Pokemon Showdown before I end it. That's what we'll do. Alright, so, what do we got here? Okay, so, it showed, let's do a little, little, little Pokemon showdown here. Oh dear. Okay, there we go. I was going to say, if it doesn't log me in, that's rough, because I don't want you guys to see me putting in my password. Alright, let's do Gen 7 Round of Battle. Let's get this bread. Gold duck, huh? And I got an Alolan Mach. Okay. Um, what do I got? Black Sludge? Alright, let's get at least one curse off. Y'all Kata. <laughs> Y'all Kata Caliphate. Yeah, I'm getting him Y'all Kata near Congolder, huh? That's an interesting. Wow. All right, at least my defense is up because I am weak to fighting type. Looks like a guts Congolder. Um, hmm. I'm just gonna go ahead and do poison jab. I really want to do as much damage as possible because he's gonna hit me really hard. Oh, he went for knockoff, which I resist. Oh, that wasn't as nearly as much damage as I was hoping for. All right, let's do another one. Ah, oh. I wonder if he's within range for me to shadow sneak him. Let's try it. Not quite. Burn might take him out. Now he's going to get health back from Drain Punch. All right, so Muck is is going down. He's Muck is fucked. But let me get a little. Oh, he had Mock Punch. All right, never mind. I was gonna get a little more damage with that um, Shadow Sneak, but okay, that wasn't too bad. Um, I'm thinking I'll just send Slowbro out now. What are you talking about, Paul? All right, let's go ahead, pop Mega, and I'll just hit him with um, Scald. I 
figured he might go for a knockoff, but since I don't have an item, that's not a big deal. Delmise, interesting. I can smack him with Ice Beam. Let's try that. Oh, Power Whippy went for. That's interesting. Bloody missed. All right. All right, I'm not going to risk him uh, hitting me with that again. I'll swap over to Arbok. Oh, wow, that did so much damage. Holy crap. All right, well, I'm just going to go ahead and um, go for Gunk Shot. Is this Shed Skin? Okay. All right, Delmise is down. Blacephalon, huh? Interesting. Um, I could probably hit him pretty hard with Sucker Punch if he's going to attack. Oh, wow. Almost, almost one shot. Shadow Ball will take me out, but that's perfectly fine. And then he goes down to his life orb. So that was a really great usage of Arbok. Uh, Blacephalon's a really, really scary Pokemon. I'm going to bring Slowbro back out. Haxorus, huh? I'm going to predict a swap here because he knows that I'm going to go for Ice Beam, so I'm going to go for Calm Mind. Oh, no, he's staying in and going for Dragon Dance. Haxorus doesn't have the greatest special defense, so I don't think he's going to like this too much. Yeah. He should have swapped. That was really foolish. All right, Kabutops. Uh, I can't do much to him, but... My hope is that he goes for Swords Dance or some kind of setup move while I go for Slack Off. That's what I thought. Did I not just say he's going to go for Swords Dance? So I got my health back. I'm going to go for um, Scald because it is a neutral hit and maybe I can burn him. Which would uh, basically nullify the use of Swords Dance. Oh, he's going for a second Swords Dance. Alright, really good damage. No burn, unfortunately. All right, liquidation, that's not going to be enough. Slowbro's got insanely high defense. And then I, you know, this, and then I resist that. Okay, Golduck. I'm going to go for Slack Off here. He's going for Calm Mind. This is his last Pokemon. I'm surprised this guy hasn't dipped out already. I'm just going to go for uh, Scald. Oh, he's hiding. All right, clearly this is an issue for Slowbro. Um, trying to think about what I can do. I think I just need to get rid of that substitute before I try anything crazy. All right. I'm going to swap over to Darkrai. He's probably going to go for another substitute. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Arbog was not good in Gen 1, but he, he, he fills an interesting niche now. 15000 dollars 11 billion Canadian US dollars. What are you guys even going on about? I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Alright. So I can catch up to his special defense with uh Oh damn that hydro pump. Holy fuck. All right, this Golduck is giving me actual real problems right now, so let's try a physical Pokemon like Miltank. I don't want to get him down to one Pokemon just to lose like that. All right, that faded his sub pretty easily. He missed on the Hydro Pump, which is good, because Miltank does not have the greatest special defense out there. Please paralyze. Or paralyze. All right, at least I survived it. Paralyze. Not today. All right. Okay, so... Can I do anything with Gastrodon? Or... If he... I don't think he's going to go for Substitute. I think he's going to attack. So I'm going to go for Toxic. That's what I thought. Didn't get frozen. <gasps> Fucking missed. All right, he's absolutely going to go for substitute now because he knows I want to do toxic. So we'll go for earthquake. All right, I win. Nine trillion. What are you guys talking about? Alt-right dogs? You guys are just 
rambling. Let me do like one more and then we'll raid somebody. I don't know. Well, one more battle and then we'll do a raid. Connecting. Buzzswool. Throw. Interesting. Um, hmm. Well, I got an interesting team, that's for sure. Let's go ahead and bulk up. Drain punch? All right. Okay. All right, so I got a Guts Flame Orb thing. Um, you need this knockoff. I'm not even going to try with that. I'm just going to go for, like, Storm Throw here. Drain Punch. Boom, bitch. Wow, that didn't do much. That did barely anything. Well, he's a bug. Let me try Ice Punch. He won't resist that. That wasn't a lot better. Well, let me try to knock off his item while I still can. God, throw? What the hell, man? Choice Scarf. That explains why he was going so quickly, even though he would have outsped me anyway. All right. That sucks. That's a terrible beginning. But I can probably scare him off with Honchcrow. He outspeeds Honchcrow, though. Let's try it anyway. Brave Bird will absolutely annihilate him if it connects. All right, there he goes. He's swapping out to Suicune. Nice! That was great. Okay. Fantastic, and then I can just do, like, Sucker Punch to take him out. Bye, Suicune. See you next Tuesday. All right, Provo Pass. Um, he's going to expect me to swap because uh, it's a Rock type and a Steel type, but watch this, guys. Watch this. Oh, get fucked, Provo Pass. Your Stuart mustache. Get out of here. That's another Moxie boost. Okay, here comes Buzzswall. All right. The fact that he brought up Buzzswall makes me think that he has something that can actually hit Honch Crow. Let me just go for Brave Bird. Oh, Drain Punch? All right, well, it's neutral. That was great, though. What a great start. Suicune's a fantastic Pokemon, but... Okay, so, um... I have a Scarf Typhlosion. I can probably at least scare him off with this. I'm just gonna go... Boom, Fire Blast, and... Oh, wow, he didn't swap. Goodbye, Buzzswall. Weezing. Ah, uh, might as well just stay in. I don't know what he's gonna possibly do. Sludge Bomb? Alright, that's fair. It's not gonna do much. So as long as I don't miss this, this should kill. Oh, and I missed. And with the Black Sludge, I'm probably not going to be able to kill him in the next shot. And I got poisoned, so that's just terrible. Damn it. Maybe I'll get a high damage. Oh, Protect. Okay. So he's protecting so that I, he gets a little more Black Sludge bag. I lose a little bit more to Poison. And then I missed. Jesus, Typhlosion. You had one job. I'm probably going to go down to Poison here. Yep. And he got a Toxic Spikes down. Um, interesting. Let's send Feromosa in. Alright, so it's Expert Belt, which is not helpful against Weezing. But I'm just going to go for like High Jump Kick and see if I can connect it. That did nothing. All right. Sludge Bomb. So I fully expect him to use Protect here. So I'm going to use this to get a nice free swap into Mew. I should have brought Mew out to begin with, actually. Oh, wow, he didn't use Protect. That was really dumb. Because if I, he had used Protect and I had gone for High Jump Kick, I would have died. All right, well, let's just go for Psy Shock. Oh, Hoopa. All right, never mind that. That's a dark type. Oh, man. 
This is rough. Um, let me swap to Gigalith. I don't think I'm going to win this, you guys. Dark Pulse. All right. I just want to try and get Explosion off. Otherwise, I'm fucked up. I'm fucked, you know. Nasty plot. Boom. All right, he's dead. Okay. I'm going to bring Mew out. Weezing, okay. I don't think he's going to stick around for this, but I'll go for Psy Shock. If he sticks around, it's just going to be to use Protect and get a little extra poison. Oh, Lilligant. All right. I might be able to actually handle this. Lilligant doesn't want to deal with Pheromosa anyway. But uh, I have Ice Beam. Ooh, that's terrible. All right. Well, Pheromosa has to take them both out. So I, I think I lost because here's the thing. I can take out Lilligant with a Bug Buzz, but I can't do much to... Um, Wheezing. Nose pass sure did go down. Oh my god. Celebi is a starter. That's pretty cool. So I don't think I can actually do anything here. He'll just use protect and I'll go down to poison. So at least I made this person work for it. I did make some mistakes. You know what? Since I won one and I lost one, let's do one more as sort of a tiebreaker. Not that I'm playing against the same person, but, you know. All right, I got Gudra. What I got? Samurai. Assault Vest Gudra. Um, Samurai probably has Ice Beam, and he's probably thinking, yeah, Ice Beam's super effective. But since I'm carrying the Assault Vest, I'm just going to go for Thunderbolt and just, just smack this bitch up real quick. Oh, i got to move that over. Come on. Twitch thing. Come over here, please. Oh, he went for Megahorn? That's unusual. All right, well, now that he knows I have Thunderbolt, I feel like he might swap to a ground, like a ground type or something, so. Um, I'm just going to go for the Stab Dragon Pulse. It's interesting that he didn't have an Ice move, though. Either that or he was predicting me to swap into something. Carnivine. Real interesting. Gudra the Snot Dragon? Yeah. Uh, well, I have Sludge Bomb, so... Goodbye, Carnivine. Oh, he survived it. Holy crap. Knock off. Well, there goes my Assault Vest. I think he knew that I had one. So let's just... Go for Sludge Bomb again, and Carnivine's down. Gooch was very vulnerable, but he did a lot of damage to Samurai, and he took out the uh, Carnivines. So that's pretty cool. Talonflame. What are you going to go for? Hmm. He knows I have Thunderbolt, but he can outspeed me. And I don't have the good defenses that I did before. Let me just go for Thunderbolt and see what he does. I, yeah, all right. Go ahead, waste your Z-move on somebody that's already weakened and doesn't have an item. That was so... I, I had a feeling he was going to go for that. All right, so... Here's the question. Who do I bring out? I do have a Nine Tails, but it's not fast enough to take this guy out. Armaldo with the assault vest. There we go. Stone Edge. He might actually just swap out of this because he does not want to get hit by Stone Edge, but let's just see what happens. He might try to get a Flare Blitz off thinking, you know, I mean, it's a neutral move. Talonflame's got very high attack. But with the assault vest, I should be able to take a hit. Oh, he swapped to Victory Bell. Interesting. Okay. Uh, well, let's go for... Let's go for Knockoff. Ah, oh, he tried to Sleep Powder me. Okay. Oh, he survived. All right, well, there goes the Black Sludge, so no more healing for him. Um... 
me see something here. Okay. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to go for another. I'm going to go for Earthquake. Oh, he missed Sleep Powder again. Let's go. Good night, Victory Bell. I was thinking of maybe throwing somebody to Wolves, but uh, Terrakian, I don't want to throw Terrakian at the Wolves because I want I want Terrakian to get off Stealth Rocks to really fuck up with Talonflame here. All right, so I'm going to go to Ninetales here. Let's get the snow up. Liquidation. All right. And I'm just going to just go for freeze dry here. Good night. Ooh. Doing really well. Okay, Talon flying. About what I figured. Okay. So I'm going to bring in Armaldo again. Get Flare Blitz. I'll throw out a Stone Edge. Let's see if it scares him off. He knows I have Stone Edge, so yeah. Age of Slash. Okay, that's actually really perfect. Okay, so let's bring Terrakian in. King Shield is what I thought. Now I can throw out Rocks, because I need those Stealth Rocks out there. So he's going to hit me pretty hard here, but... Oh, that wasn't so bad, actually. All right, so... I'm going to go for Earthquake. It's going to take him out. His Talonflame is pretty much fucked at this point. Because of the rocks. Oh, God, Moogle. Oh, Jesus, Gibbs! You gassy bitch! Get, get off the bed! Get off the bed! Why are you farting so much today? Desmium is the DS emulator I would suggest. Okay, okay, Mantine. Oh god, Mantine might have defog. That's not good. Let's see if I can hit him with Stone Edge. Alright, he's done. This guy, I won. There's no way. Look at how much damage he took just from swapping in. He might kill my Tarakian, but... Oh, why would you go for Swords Dance? Holy... Alright, I win. I'm not complaining. Okay, guys. We're going to go ahead and do a raid. Um, come on. Get up. Get up get, get. Let's see. Let me go to the Twitch app and see who's online, who we can raid, what the deal is. Uh, let's go ahead and raid Roz. Roz is currently playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey. She's a really great personality. Um, it's unusual to see her playing Ass Creed because you, usually she goes for RPGs. Although I guess Assassin's Creed is an RPG now. Like I saw some footage of Odyssey and it, the, there's a lot of RPG shit to it. So let's, let's, let's raid Roz. Uh, let's see. How do I do this? Again, I need my ch I need my chat. Oh, that's not it. Oh my god. Ah. Okay. Oh, that was the okay. Yeah, I can do it from here though, can I? I s yeah. I saw the chat room there, but I can do it here. So we're gonna raid Roz. Let's see, slash raid. If you are a subscriber to my channel, please spam that Gibbs emoji. Say oof, oof, oof if you're not. Balls, indeed. If you're not uh, subscribed to me, please consider it because it is super, super useful for me. Please don't bail on the raid. <laughs> that sucks. Desmume. Use Desmume. All right, let's do this, guys. See you over there. <laughs>